Greetings, kiddos. Welcome to the motherfucking show. So, it's been a minute. I know. I know. What? <laughs> Christmas has come and gone. New Year's is coming. And with every new year, you always have resolutions. Or some people do. I, I understand the uh, desire to have a starting line fucking people at the gym that's like that's my problem is because the new year's resolution people when they go to the gym for like those couple maybe three months it's fucking packed and it's really annoying but i digress i i fucking digress i am still kind of sick it's funny because like i remember doing that video back in like 20 what 2021 about perhaps thinking maybe <laughs> that i had um, long haul COVID. <laughs> well, it's a goofy ass nigga in a hotel bathroom. <laughs> Where have we seen this before? And I have come to the conclusion that I do, in fact, have long haul COVID. And it's kind of, it's just funny because how the fuck did I get sick and like nobody else in this fucking house got sick? How does, how the fuck, how does, how does that work? Like the nigga that never gets sick, literally when I, when I was sick earlier, like, uh, back in 2021 was it 2021 i keep wanting to say yeah no it is it is because 2020 2020 was sh shit that was a shit year i was in michigan back then i remember getting sick and like just thinking like it was like a dummy thick cold <laughs> and the bitch took me out i was not i was not doing well long with the fucking story short a lot of the issues that i encountered the first time around when i wasn't sure if i had covid or not they're coming back. I, I've never in my life had issues breathing until I had COVID. And I don't, while I'm sick with the, like the, the crux of it, like the, the meat of the COVID, like those 14 days, when I'm sick with it, that time, I don't have any issues breathing. It's not until the initial like sickness is over that I start to have some of these residual issues, which I find really interesting from like the, the standpoint of like, if we, we gave diseases, like kind of like we personified them and gave them alignments, it's just kind of cool. It's like, this is my fucking stand ability. I make you sick, but then like you stay sick for a minute. <laughs> and like, you thought it was, you thought you were over the, the worst part, but honey, <laughs> hold the fuck up because <laughs> you got a storm coming. There's a lot of issues that like have come from COVID I have seen. And I think one of like the major ones for me that I didn't really realize because I wasn't entirely certain that I had COVID back in 2021 is the brain fog. Y'all remember how fucking like in, like I was just entirely incapable of concentrating. I, like it was it fucking possible for me. And like, it was sudden and I didn't understand why. And that was probably because of the brain fog, but I didn't really have much of it during like during the the 14 days those first 14 days i did it wasn't like that much of an issue it was like all the other extra bullshit that makes life like not unbearable but like i'd rather have the 14 days of sickness and nothing else than have this like protracted just series of fucking like things happening that they, they don't seem like to even like be connected to fucking anything so like i'll have the brain fog that's a huge one um I have alcohol intolerance, and s since two, tw 2021, I haven't really been drinking because it makes me extremely ill. Now I'm seeing that that's a, a alcohol intolerance is a symptom of long COVID, and the shit is lining up. I didn't like actively think like, well, let me try to test this to see like if it's the alcohol or the poop tea. But I, I do remember having a time where I drank alcohol thinking, like, it's 100% the poop tea, so alcohol's not going to be a problem for me. And then getting sick and being like, oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, it didn't register, like, completely that, like, that it's connect it could possibly be connected to COVID. But I am fairly certain that I have acquired alcohol intolerance and to this day i'm still I, I still can't really tolerate alcohol i also have this um weird symptom of 
it feels like something's just eaten out the the inside of my nasal passage. It's it feels inflamed. It burns. Um, it's it's pretty fucking horrible. And I don't know if it, it feels like like getting chlorine up in your your nose, like trying to do a backflip in a pool. And I I don't know. I I kind of associate it with. Feeling like I didn't get any sleep. I don't know why that is, but it it feels like when I wake up with this this fucking pain, this this irritation inside my nasal passage, I like associate that with um, getting poor quality sleep. Yeah, so it's like a, a whole bunch of symptoms that like seemingly aren't really connected in my encounters with different diseases, different disorders. Um, these are symptoms that I would commonly not associate with each other. So like. My migraines, I think of headache, I think of nausea, I think of just uh, like light sensitivity, smell sensitivity, sound sensitivity, like just the world is too fucking everything. But these symptoms, they, they don't feel like they should go together. But it, it's just interesting to see just how weirdly interconnected things are in your body. And... Yeah, going back and watching that video from 2021 really illuminated things for me. So I'm really glad that I made that video because I talk about, like, there's things that I forgot. But yeah, this year, I got through the holidays relatively unscathed. There was definitely some issues along the way, but, like, they felt more like speed bumps than, like, roadblocks. And that's a, that's a step in the, the right direction. I have a lot of ideas for videos that I want to do. And like a lot of shit that I've been thinking about. It's just that I need to, um... Get my thoughts together. Organize my thoughts in a way that I can express... Express them to y'all. This year is, um... Um... I don't know why the sound went out at this part, but I'm literally just talking about, like, not getting too tied up and looking at your accomplishments at the end of the year. And rather, like, you know, other shit. Maybe we should measure it more by not what we have accomplished, but what we have managed not to lose. Having different standards, trying to switch up the value systems. I think that's a a better way to I don't know, change your perspective and be thankful for the things that you have. But always look forward. Always move forward. It's just hard to do because like the shit that's happened, the things that like the uh, your your understanding of like existence, it doesn't extend into the future. It, it goes back because like that's the shit that I understand because that's the shit that's happened. And so it's it's difficult to like not even just conceptualize forward, but like to move forward to change. It's that shit is fucking hard, but here's to change. Here's to another year of change. Hopefully it's better than the last, but um, I'm not going to get my fucking hopes up. Hope y'all's uh, new year is fantastic. And hope things get better. That would be nice. Yeah. Hmm. I'll talk to y'all later.